This is a video on my point source speakers on how to make a few different sorts of point source speakers all from the same brand name Woofer and this Woofer brand name is called Response and you can get them from JCAR Electronics they're an Australian electronics outlet they're popular in Australia look up JCAR electronics to get some we order them now you have the 6 inch ones the 6 inch one, the 8 inch one and the 10 inch one now first before we go into it too much we just look at what point source really means notice the woofer and tweeter cones are virtually in line at the base uh, maybe just a little bit above the base but not much with this it's <laughs> it's about an inch above the base and it's a car speaker which is coaxial my point source speakers are also coaxial but there's only about an eighth an inch difference in cone height at the base compared with an inch difference and also with the excursions the big cone has to miss the little cone so there has to be a gap so it can still act like a speaker in the base when you turn it up now with this one it's so far in front so the cone will miss but if it was closer it would sound better because it's more point source but the cone would clatter on it and that's why you have to have it like this so it fits actually inside the cavity even though it's not actually right in the cavity it's just above it now to show you how easy it is to do it to mount that that's just a little tweeter it's a two inch tweeter i bought from um jcar electronics from the same place and they're actually a full range speaker but i'm using them as a tweeter and they're not meant to handle much power as a full range speaker but as a tweeter they handle a lot more power and they haven't managed to blow any yet now on the other end we have some nylon thread there and a clip that is made from just some um, zip ties and it just latches on the end like that and if we undo it like that the whole thing falls out just a bit of black poly pipe like this doctored and there we have the whole thing can't do it with two hands I'll do the tripod thing and just pull it apart whole thing comes apart there you ha there we have the cavity nice big cavity and these woofers are available and I just made the rest up how best I could and all you do is tie it like with a bit of nylon thread the best you can and then use the whatever means you can to make it fit without having to stick it there because otherwise you if it blows or something like that you can replace it you see easily just have to be inventive now it's the same with this one, it's just another smaller speaker, it's an 8 inch one and it's got that one which is also another speaker I bought from JCAR Electronics it's just a full range speaker and you can use it as a tweeter and of course I've cut the corners off it so it fits in but the 6 inch one only has a really small cavity this one 
but they all have the hole going through it. You need that for the electric cable. If it hasn't got a hole through it, you can't do the job. And this one, I've got a normal standard two inch tweeter with the cone taken off and everything all stripped down and a stick stuck on it instead. And it goes in like that, the stick, and you somehow attach it to the end like glue it or something or use zip ties and that sticks out in the other end and I've got an aluminium cone stuck on that and this job isn't for the faint hearted I'll tell you but it can be done if you're a tinkerer and this is what they look like when they're complete you can just see the silver cone there that's made of tin foil I got from a coffee can seal plus there's a couple of little wizards on it too you see my video called Kef Unicues Make Your Own and uh, Make Your Own Point Source Speakers all those speakers are available from J-Car Electronics they all got a hole in them and also the tweeters are too, in inverted commas, are also from JCAR Electronics. So I'm not just giving them a plug, I'm telling you where to get them from so you can make your own Kef Unicues, point source speakers. Sound really good, you can't tell on YouTube, but the point source is just the geometry of it that makes them sound good, not the technical quality. Just the geometry. And they are my PA point source speakers. It has a three inch voice coil. 